Hello guys, привет всем, здравствуйте. Today we are continuing with Fast and Furious. This is the third movie I'm watching. So far it's been interesting, but what I noticed is that actors are disappearing. I was quite surprised that in a previous movie I didn't see Vin Diesel and his family, his movie family in there. Now, when I went on IMDb to see who is there, I didn't recognize anyone. Can you even call it a franchise or it's like a split off? And because it also called Tokyo Drift, so not really a question where the event is going to be going on, where all the action is going to be on. Is that a completely different movie with the same idea, maybe? To me, it's a little bit weird and upsetting that I don't see the previous actors, but you guys reassured me that my favorite actors are going to be back in the next movies. So let's just go to a movie and see if it's gonna surprise us in a good or bad way. What is this song? I feel like I heard it somewhere, right? It's very popular, but I need it in my playlist. Gold Ducks. Nice ride. Does the job. Delivering pizzas. Oh, wow. Hey, you talking to my girl? Well, she started the conversation first. My grandma's view could smoke that piece of shit trailer trash. This beast got 500 horsepower. You can read the brochure. <gasps> oh, that was so unnecessary. What would you do though? What? That's just, oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Why don't you nice boys let your cars do the talking? Winner gets me. Sure. She doesn't care who gets her right. She's happy with both options. So it's like, okay, sure. No hard feelings, you know? Make it interesting, Clem. <gasps> oh! Oh, he's not gonna get the girl! Ah! Uh, I don't know, from my unprofessional opinion, doesn't seem like he's doing a very good job. But his car is worse, so maybe he is doing a good job. Okay, that makes me want to drive. It's the same thing, the same thing as when I was watching Baby Driver, and I just immediately imagined myself in a car, you know? I thought you loved me. She's just trouble. Guess I got a new date for prom. Prom? I thought they're in university. They look older. Okay, in my opinion, that's a lot of trouble to go to, to take a girl to a prom. Oh! Tabasco! <laughs> and was it worth it, you know? <laughs> you think this is a joke? Huh? Where's my car? I crushed it. You're done. And all before your 18th birthday. Now sit down. I remember my classmates at 17. None of them look like this. It's a pretty clear cut case. This is our third town in two years. They're definitely going to want to get him off the streets. Well, there's just got to be another way. It's one of my dreams to go to Tokyo. I keep seeing it, how cool it is in the movies. Sean. Is it his father? Oh wow, that Come was quick. In. Come on in. No hug. So, uh, how is your mom? Or do I sleep? You just can't keep moving away every time you get into trouble. Or for you. Oh well, he moved far. I don't want to see or hear about you anywhere near a car. Lights out in ten. That's a very specific set of rules. <laughs> he must be jet lag as hell. Train to school leaves at 7 or 100. Does he know the language? Because he's going to school with English? Ah, 
。転校生、上履き。上履き。上履き。みんな履いてるでしょ、上履き。To keep a space clean? I've never heard or seen that. I know that you're taking off your shoes at home because we also do the same, but in class? Japanese food is like the army. Name's a Twinkie. Everybody needs a cell phone. Brand new Jordans. <laughs> you selling a Sparco stand wheel? That's mine right there. My ride's one of a kind. Show me. He has steering wheel outside of the car, so it's like anti braking system. Oh, it's on purpose. I thought it's dented in a weird way, but it's done on purpose. Went to school, right? On the first day of school. It reminds me very much of the first Fast and Furious. Location is different, but the vibe is the same. That's what she said. You know, I almost didn't recognize you without your slippers on. Who's a tourist? A tourist? <laughs> he was just leaving. I don't know, man. Understand that? Turn around. Keep walking. I thought this was like a free country. You know who I am, boy? Kimishinai, there. Look, sorry, DK san. Monkey didn't have his banana today. Where is so <laughs> monkey didn't have his banana today? Are you serious? Is that a phrase or just like an insult? Much rice. Easy to sound cocky when you got no rice. Take mine. Wow, that's a great catch. How many times did they have to film it for him in order to get it in one shot? What? <laughs> drive. You know what DK stands for? Drift King. What do you mean, drift? This car right here is like the Mona Lisa in the drift world. Hey man, Hans Leib ain't cheap, man. You feel me? So it's like don't wreck it. All right, after you rip the e-brake, then I want you to power over. Oh, he seems very confident. I love this moment. I love the moments when we start the race. Oh, oh! It's not even his car, you know. After that, the guy never landed anyone again his car. Ah! Oh, this, this looks so painful, especially like to the owner of the cars. Owners of the cars. He goes sideways. Oi, 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 oh. oh, this is so painful. This is so painful to look at. You. Such a cringy feeling right now. You know what time it is? I thought it was around seven o'clock. Have you been racing, Sean? Your hands smell like a steering wheel. If it doesn't work out here, you're going to jail. He doesn't even care. I'll tell you one more time. Well, so I guess he's done with racing for a little bit. He doesn't strike me as a bad guy for some reason. There's a guy in there with a paw that owes me some money. I think he's not asking how much money, who is the guy, what I should do. Just, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as 17. Oh, with the ball! Okay. Okay. It all makes sense now. Okay. Well, intimidating. It's like one... His palm is at the size of his... That's a sweet, sweet ride. I call you show. Only if you teach me how to drift. Oh, it's a casino. Okay, underground. Hope he's not a driving, huh? <laughs> I'm ready to take the 86 Corolla off your hands. Get him out of here. 
What is this game? When is the shipment arriving? Huh? The shipment is drugs? I had to stay at school for some extracurricular activities. You don't want to be a part of this world. It's good enough for you. Oh well, yeah, because she does. So you walked around pissed off all the time. I'm pretty sure, but by the end of the movie, he's gonna get the girl. He's just playing gangster in his little storage room. He keeps Uncle Kamada from poking around too much. 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing. True. If I were to race, it would have to be for some importance. So why are you letting me race? It's your DK's kryptonite. Nice. I'm not gonna try to try to pronounce the full name of Nuts again. Are you serious? You can do better than 180k. They can't catch you. They don't even try. So the cops are like, okay, not gonna bother. From the back door. Is he in the inner circle of everyone? Oh, those are only chicks. Oh no, okay, sorry. It is a very bright for a club, isn't it? Your hands up the kid, girl. Disneyland for grown ups, huh? Tokyo is the fashion capital on this side of the planet. And most of the guys around here too chicken shit to even try picking up on. You talk to the little dude who makes you laugh. Oh, so he found his game, yes? It doesn't even look real, right? Because of the colors. The red yours. Nice. What you think? I'm gonna let you roll in and Hyundai? Why is he doing all that to him? Why? I know that he said he you are DK's kryptonite, but it feels like there is something more to that which we don't know yet. He's learning how to drift. <laughs> you call it drifting. Where did you find this guy? I, is drifting hard? I've never tried, but I'm I'm so chicken to ever try that. Just tell me how hard it is on a point on a scale from one to five. I found it this way at the base. Showing the Japanese have a saying: nail that sticks out gets hammered. Oh, what is happening? What did he do? Here. Try not to break this. But let's a peaceful resolution. Now everybody's going to exchanges around here. Damn! A little bit of thank you would have helped. Not easy saving the day, is it? Maybe you can give me some pointers sometime. Okay, I think she's warming up to him. But they had this little spark since the moment that he walked in into the class, right? Oh, just standing on a roof like this? That seems amazing. Why'd you let me race with your car? We choose to be around you, but you know who you are. Tell me who your friend and I'll tell you who you are. They're letting fear lead them. You make choices and you don't look back. So if you don't drift to win, what do you drift for? <laughs> Brainstorm performance. Oh, wow. Okay, that's how you impress a girl, you know? No, oh, what do you drift for? The phone number? There's no wax on, wax off, the drifting. What am I doing it? A karate kid? So feel it. No wax on, wax off. <laughs> what is going on? That's a big cut. And here I am not knowing how to parallel park properly. That impresses me. Yahoo! <laughs> That's not gonna flow here. Get this man a bunk. Well, he got much, much better at drifting. He did it half like the sideways. Oh! Someone doesn't know how to lose. Are we gonna be blaming Han for training him?
<laughs> oh, DK is gonna be so pissed. Don't forget to check out my Patreon for this exclusives. And now back to movie. My mom died when I was 10. And all I know about her is that she went to work in a hostess bar. DK's grandmother took me in. Oh, wow. To the, like, family? Me and mom moved around a lot. Kind of made myself an outsider, you know? Outsider, insider, doesn't really matter. All that matters is knowing what you really want. Well, it's true. But how hard it is. It's a team drifting. We used to come up here when we were kids. Even before we could drive, we'd cut class. What? Things were different back then. Back then, kids destroyed whatever they had. Day I got my license, day I got my first speeding ticket. Felt like everything else just disappears. Just the moment. Oh, how she speaks is so sweet. It just she has this. I don't. I don't even know how to describe it. But her intonation. I like the whole car, well, though. Hey, twink, I'm gonna grab another set. Whoa, minimum size ain't cheap. Oh, it ruins the tires. Grab a chair. We're about to throw some marshmallows. He found out that he went with his girlfriend drifting, which is probably worse than cheating for them. I don't know. Stay away from her. Find yourself a new driver. Seems like all his problems are coming from girls. But now he is not the only one who is in trouble. You can't just play with fire. You soak the matches in gasoline. And it's not like he hasn't been warned, but did she tell DK? Did he look at her ass? You've changed, DK. He's not gonna hurt her, is he? Your mom was the best trick in all of Kabuki Cho back in the day. I think anyone would take a second look at you if it wasn't for your uncle. That's a terrible breakup, you know. She's scared of him. I know who I am and where I belong. Do you know? It doesn't even feel like he loves her that much, but it's more like the will to have her, you know? So it's like his toy and he's the only one who can play with it, but it doesn't feel that he loves and he is afraid to lose her. Oh wow, dressed all in white. Do they? Thank you. Oh, he is actually so sweet, no? Oh, those are all the documents. Is he scamming his uncle? That your partner is stealing from us? Things are gonna go so bad now. Oh, that escalated quickly. Oh, because he disappointed him? Oh, it's gonna go so bad. I can feel it. Hey, brother. Ay, yay, 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 yay. And plus, she's here. Oh, this is just, well, it's like the last nail in the coffin, you know? Oh! Oh, shit. Yes, yes, okay. I knew that would escalate. Oh, he has personal issues towards him. At least now he knows how to drift, so that's gonna make things easier for him to escape. And it's like, what do you drift for? He's like, survival. Okay, now I want to drive. But I know as soon as I go out to drive, I'm just going to be stuck in traffic, so it's not gonna feel the same. Okay, how is it called? I know that there is a specific term. We call it chess. Not chess. But similar to chess game, is there a specific name in English? When you balance in between cars on a freeway, something like this. <gasps> oh, sh! He's going hella fast. But even if he escapes now, even if hand, hand ex, ex, 
I can talk. Even then Han escapes now. DK is still gonna be able to find him, right? It's not... It's big of a city, but... I have to figure out what to do. Oh wow, wait, wow. Well, people did good, you know. I would say all of them are very good drifters. Oh, he has a gun! Oh, of course, yes, we saw that he has a gun. I just forgot about it. Did I jinx it? Oh! <gasps> There is no in the car, right? It's gonna explode! Are you serious? Yeah, you know how I was talking about that we need to find out how to resolve a conflict? Well, looks like the conflict is resolved now. Of course, yes. He just lost his friend. He lost. I'll go with you. Nila. And that's how you get a girl. <laughs> I'm putting you on a plane tonight. <laughs> oh. Well, I can see why dad just wants him out of the country now. Now I'm responsible for my mess. I gotta do this. Mom is not going to be a fan. At least you're not redoing my mistakes. But he is fleeing the country. But he is staying and figure out, figuring everything out. But that's very brave for a dad to let your son go at the moments like that, right? We're leaving town. Look, I know some people. What about school and everything? DK wants your head. And the trouble you just made for Kamada? Maybe I should talk to Kamada. Of course, but... but <laughs> I know I just didn't hit it. Yeah, right? Because he's great at negotiations. You can't just walk into Kamada's place, man. That's all I got. Something I think Han would have wanted you to have. Oh. You're gonna need it if you're gonna make it out of Kamada's place alive. A secret stash. It? It's noble. How's it called? A wolf pit? Okay, we kid talks business. Let's go. I don't know what this conversation is going to be about. Sean. You came to the wrong place. All those are st stolen cuts from the side deals. I came here to apologize. This is actually a great speech so far. I'm here to offer you a peaceful solution. A race. Oh, what? <laughs> Allow us to settle this once and for all. I already beat this piece of shit once. They should be easy. Is he really gonna go for that? Or he's like, that sounds fun. Sure, let's do this. But I mean, it's the Fast and the Furious movie, right? So how else would we settle a conflict? You know, it's sometimes that um, the events are so hard and tense and there's a fight coming in and one of our opponents is saying okay let's have a dance battle or something like this right but i mean han taught sean pretty good intact nice Okay, that actually looks extremely hard. It's not the car I'm worried about, man. This is his mountain. DK doesn't want to take any chances. Because I feel like Fast and Furious usually end on a good note, right? So Sean is gonna win this race, that's for sure, because he trained well and everything. But we will see. We actually tuned the car real well. That's a cool car he made for himself. 
Oh, he's here to see the race. What are the chances that he would actually go, you know? For DK, that's a very important race. He doesn't want to disappoint his uncle. Well, okay, the first one is good. Is that supposed to be like this? I wouldn't think so. I know for like 95% that Sean is gonna win. Especially after him losing the first race to him and he was incompetent in drifting. Okay, see? If you fall, you die. But it's weird that on, on the road like that, they don't have the metal poles or fences or something like this. <gasps> oh, shit. But that's pretty cool, though. I'm a bit, a bit tense because it's on a hill. So one run move and that's it. The race is over. But the way how they filmed it is very cool. One of them is trying to end the dispute while the other is fighting for the respect of his uncle. Poetic. This is a very long race. It's a little bit concerning that they cheating that the guy fell. Okay, well, the race is done now. Oh, she got hot? A little bit concerning what the boyfriend she was seeing for years, I don't know, months, is in an accident and she's just running to the other guy. Didn't even check. Why that you are cute? This dude over here wanna race the new DK. Oh. Said he knew Han. Said Han was family. Okay, I have a feeling that this is someone we know from previous movies. Like, it must be. Dom? Yes! <laughs> so he knew Han and Han was family. I won it for my friend Han a few years ago. You know this ain't no 10 second race. I got nothing but time. Okay, that is a very nice ending. I already wasn't expecting to see anyone from previous movies. So it was nice. Plus, we didn't see Vin Diesel in um, Fast and Furious 2, right? So it's cool. It means that he's coming back. It means that I'm going to see him in the next Fast and Furious movie. I like this movie a lot. The only thing is that I was missing the characters. Like, I liked the story and it was this action turn off your brain movie where you're just watching and you know you're just relaxing because everything is fun you're thinking that nothing bad is gonna happen i didn't expect for han to die that was unexpected but i see how they tied it up with dom being there you know so that's kind of nice but in general like when you're watching fast and furious you are not that much worried right and that is nice you are not expecting any water stones the stones under the water or however it's called you just enjoying i was missing the characters though and i hope i hope that in fast and furious 4 we are going to see all of them back but looks like we're starting to return because vin diesel's character already was in the movie even for the last 30 seconds it still was nice to see him if you want to see my full length reaction video follow my patreon the link is on the video and it's also in the description also please 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 don't forget to subscribe press like and let me know what you think about my reaction
And I also want to say thank you to my patrons, and I want to have a special shout out to the following patrons: Mark Tucker, Joe B, Jason K H, Tom, Kevin Post, Never Sure, and Richard Fifty One. Thank you guys very very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.